Yo, my dudes, what's going on? David here, and welcome to another reaction. This episode, we are diving into Marvel's Daredevil Season 1, Episode 8, called Shadows in the Glass. Hopefully, you've been enjoying the series. If so, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Head on over to Patreon for the full uncut, unedited reactions over there. Extra early episodes over there as well. You already know what time it is. I didn't even remind you of what time it is. Please. Fasten your seatbelts. Let's ride. Come on, Maddie. Matt, Matt, Maddie. Are we supposed to feel for Fisk? Like he's a good man. He does it because he needs to. Oh, so tough to choose between which suit. We need to get some flashbacks of Fisk. I like this. One of those like what, what made Fisk, Fisk, what made him be the way he is. My thing is, how does he show up like this all the time without Foggy worrying about him? He always says it's a slip and fall, but after a while, man, you're not that clumsy. The guys who busted up Elena's apartment, they uh, came after me when I was leaving her place last night. Are you okay? Yes. Foggy was following me. Why? Why were you following her? She was acting funny. No, there was no funny. There was a little yes, funny. there was this funny. This is what I'm talking about. There are things out there. You can't be doing this. You're gonna get yourselves hurt. No, I, I have already been hurt by those bastards. You know. The shit. I'm sorry you feel that way. <laughs> Nevertheless, my point is valid. You made the guarantees, which I met. The black skies did. You asked that the docks and your transit path be clear of police interference. Did you observe any police? My apologies. Did not expect that. Did he say Wesley? He said, fuck, you're sorry, Fisk. I just, I don't like the way he speaks to you, that's all. Especially now, when everything's going our way. That's exactly when you need to be cautious. Hey, I've seen him from somewhere. You got taste. I love music, just not so loud. What the hell good is it if you can't hear it? Right, Willie? Right. Never trust the quiet ones. Those are oh, the tricks that are always He's from the Entourage. <laughs> Dom from Entourage. You cut it too short. What did I tell you? Sorry. Sorry what? Sir. You got to do is put your mind to it and make it happen. You want a sip? He most huh? certainly does not. Well, that let me take a sip from his <laughs> glass before I could talk. Go on. Go on. What are you looking at her for? I said it's okay. Take He's not going to like it. Go on. That's it. Bill, what are you doing, oh. Jesus? Come on, it's funny. The man. Let him be a man. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I need to take this. I know. Me too. Good night, Vanessa. Every single time he's talking to her, somebody interrupts. Yes, we have a situation. Wesley. Oh, Detective Blake. He just woke up. Our contacts in the media tell us that that's going to be tonight's lead. Has he said anything we need to be concerned about? No, yeah. he's con pointless, Matt. We should be out on the streets, cracking names and taking skulls. I think you have that backwards. Not the way I do it. Five minutes out there and you'd end up in intensive care. Hey, 
I handled myself pretty damn skippy against Baldi and his tattooed girl. Exactly. Tell him, Kay. Yeah, you did. What, I'm, I'm Kay now? Trying something new. Technically, we paid someone else to shoot him. Do you know what made us go down this path? What led to a decision of such finality? If you're worried about me, I know how to keep my mouth shut. If we doubted that, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Mm. Being informed. This is very intimidating. As they are. Not how we wish to perceive them. So how long before I do something that pisses you off? Well, the answer to that is entirely up to you. It's not up to me. It's up to my freaking partner, Blake. I've known him since I was a kid. This 30, 35 years. How much are each of those years worth to you in round figures? Oh, man. Now my life depends on if my partner decides to speak the truth. Man. But I might trigger something. Um, yeah. Good morning. Thanks. He either is a dead man for aiding or not aiding Fisk or he's literally going to kill his best friend which will then get him into some trouble I would think hey buddy what are you doing? oh yo Matty did not know you were in there Matt Oh no, they didn't. What? He told him something, but we didn't get to hear it. Wesley, Wesley, Wesley. What is up, buddy? So taken care of. Yes, but there was a complication. Well, there's a word. There's always more and more. A complication. Now, right after Hoffman injected Blake, he was incapacitated by our past friend. Blake was still alive. He gets bullied. Are you having some? Sure, baby. I'm telling you, man, it's like they're trying to make us feel for Fisk. Can't do it. Can't do it. Sorry, little Fisk. What did he do? Use of debt. He was knocking our signs down. I told him to stop, but he wouldn't. He said I was a loser. Just like my dad. To do how he puts himself out Never, there, man. Jesus. Oh, hey, I'm talking to you. Mm, we're gonna take care of this the right way. Oh, God. Jeez. He's almost haunted by his dad. I kind of like that. Like that view of it. I still don't feel for him, but that view of it. Why are we looking at this damn painting? Does it remind him of his walls back in the day or something? Believe us. I'll wait outside. Man, Fisk. I would have been mad as hell. I would have slapped his bald ass head. Whoosh. He disrespected me like that no for good. Get out. Don't question Wesley. Get out. Get out! Come on, Wesley. You know better than that, man. Ah, I love this. It yeah, away, it is. Lady. It is. You sit wow. here and you stare at that wall. And you think about that. You need to know. Now, I told you you shouldn't have borrowed money from him. But no, you had to be the big Back shot. Hand. Huh? You had to have your face plastered. Oh, I know it. Not enough. I get that shit out there. I gotta get it in my own house. In my own house. Bill. All right. All right. Oh God. Oh. Shut up. Stop it. Oh. 
What are you gonna do with that, fatty? Huh? Huh? You believe this kid? He gets that shit from you. Yo. We gonna keep hitting him? Yo. Not good. Not good. Disc is a step ahead. Wow. 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 Well then. I'm telling you, man, it, it 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 gets so tough to me giving a number rating for these episodes because so many of these episodes have been to me outstanding. I feel like when it comes to this series, eight eight episodes in, maybe one or two of them have been like not up to par with what I wanted them to be. But yet again, we get one of those really, really awesome episodes. We get to finally see what made Fisk the way he is. And I think they couldn't have done it any better than they did. Uh, I've seen the actor before, obviously, like I said, in, a, in an entourage environment. And he played that role as the loose cannon up until he had a kid. So it, they casted him perfectly well. Again, I feel like there has yet to be a character in this show that hasn't been casted very well. I feel like uh, the dad stuff and the flashbacks, I think, I think when it comes to this show, the flashbacks are by far the best thing. For me, personally. And so, eight episodes in, I think we've seen like maybe three or four. Maybe half of the episodes have been flashback episodes. And as much as I wish they would do them every episode, it is obvious they can't. Because what makes them so special is the fact that they don't do them every episode. And so when you get it, when you get a flashback episode, you're like, yes, you know what I mean? And so the fact that we got an episode here where it was pretty much Fisk the whole way through, in a sense, was awesome. I thought, I thought Fisk carried this episode great. I thought, again, the, the flashbacks, I, I'm not sure if they were going the route of making us feel for him but they definitely went the route of opening our eyes as to why he became what he became. Uh, we see that his dad is a sort of congressman, something with the consul council or something. And he pretty much is, a, is tough on his son the whole time. Every flashback he's, he's, you know, sort of being firm with Fisk. And so, we see at, like I said, an early age that Wilson had to deal with it. You know what I mean? And so we get, we hear the name, uh, we get this name, Reganetti, whatever, whatever his name is. We get to hear that name at an early, uh, obviously with it being a flashback, we get to hear it earlier. So obviously that, that guy plays a factor in this in this uh, sort of environment for a while. And so I keep wanting to call him Dom, but Wilson's dad again is running for that council and uses that guy's money. He then loses. He loses that. And so obviously that ain't good. You don't borrow money, lose, and then have the money to pay back. You know what I mean? You borrowed that money in hopes that you want it so that you could pay back, so you could have the money to pay back. And so we see that Wilson gets, gets into a skirmish. Obviously, he gets the worst end of it, and we see that he is badly hurt from it. He then comes home. His mom is obviously like, 
coddling him and, you know, made him a cake, did all that good stuff. And his dad comes home and he's like, what happened to you? And so mom's sort of like, I got it. I took care of it. He then abruptly like shuts the mom up and says, what happened, Wilson? Like he wants to know from his son. He's very, he's very much like wants his son to man up. And so Wilson tells him, you know, uh, such and such was calling me a loser, ripping down your signs, saying that you're a loser too. We then see that they go up to that man and his dad starts beating him up. Then he tells Wilson to kick him. Obviously, Wilson is going to hesitate like any child or any, you know, normal, sane human being would do. And so he just continues to beat on him, beat on him, beat on him and tells his son to kick him harder, 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 harder. And to the point where he just eventually is kicking him as hard as he can. And so Fisk's dad is like pretty much telling him. Hey, this is this is what you have to do in a sense. Like you have to be the man. You have to take no bull crap. You have to demand respect. And so we see later on in that flashback that uh his dad comes back. His mom is concerned because of the fact that you know, he lost how is he going to deal with the Rigoletto? That's his name, Rigoletto. How, how is he going to deal with Rigoletto? You know, he took all that money. He's not going to be able to pay him back. A little bit prior to that, uh, his dad was making him stare at the wall. Is what tied into the painting and why he bought the painting. He then uh, presumes to beat Wilson's mom. The reason I said for him to, for her to, you know, just be quiet and sort of take it until you, until he's done. By her constantly trying to respond, by her constantly saying, you know, anything. She is simply fueling the fire. It is, it is a, it it is something that's very hard to watch, obviously. I think they did a very good job at that because they made it hard to watch. But obviously Fisk uh, Wilson doesn't doesn't take it very well. He then kills his dad with the hammer, beats his skull, beats his skull, beats his skull. And then what it sounded like he said was that they chopped him up and put him in different bags and once a day for a week. They dumped it into the lake or whatever. And so as he's hitting him, he's like, it's like he's he's saying what his dad was telling him to do when he was kicking that kid, you know, keep kicking him, keep kicking him. And so like you see where that rage is. You see where that, that crazy Wilson, like that crazy side of Wilson is. Um, I thought that he looked very vulnerable throughout this episode which was crazy because obviously this masked man uh, knows too much about him. You can set, you can see that his partners are starting to realize that they are starting to realize that, Hey, what does this man know? Am I in jeopardy? You saw that Leland, you know, in earlier episodes almost got caught. So he was barely able to get out of there. We saw him yell at, at at Wesley, you know, his right hand man. So definitely at this point in time, Wilson is vulnerable. He's definitely out in the open. And so then we get Matt who tried to reach out to Ben and have him write about Wilson to make him come out into the light. Wilson was ahead of that. Wilson then went out publicly before that and pretty much said everything that he was writing about. And so 
they pretty much turned it all onto a mat. And now it's the city against the masked man. And so it's crazy. It, it, it blows my mind. And I haven't even gave a number rating for this. At first, when I started this conversation, I was going eight. Now I can see the arguments for nine. So I guess I'll give it like eight, eight, nine range. Probably right dead in the middle, eight and a half type of thing. This is about as good of an episode as you can get, especially when the main character in the show has very little to do with the episode. I thought the whole buying Hoffman to kill his best friend slash partner for 30 plus years was crazy. I thought it was the 80. I even got spooked by the fact that Matt was in there already. So that was all cool. Then they twisted that onto Matt as well. It's crazy. It's crazy. This was a very well-directed episode. I enjoyed it very much. Like I said, I gave it anywhere from an 8, 9. Probably right then in the middle, 8.5 type of thing. But if you agree or you disagree, please let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe. And if you enjoyed it enough and you want to see more of it, definitely don't forget to head on over to Patreon. All that good stuff. But I... I got nothing else to say, man. I'm still at a loss of words. But with that being said, that is all the time I have for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'll catch you later. Peace.